If you love Disney's Moana as much as we do, you've probably watched it about a dozen times. If this is the case, and we're pretty sure it is, you might be wondering why Pooh the Pig didn't get to tag along on Moana's many adventures. Join us while we dissect the real reasons why Pua was excluded from the journey. First time at the things? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Now let's find out why our beloved Pua wasn't welcomed on Moana's boat. When viewers are first introduced to Moana and Pua, they seem to be as close as two peas in a pod. As a matter of fact, Pua follows Moana wherever she goes. With this in mind, many of us were shocked to see Moana getting on her boat without her trusted sidekick. Since most Disney princesses don't go anywhere without their companions, many of us were left wondering why Moana chose to leave Pua on the shore. To make matters worse, nearly every single Moana poster showcased Pua, Maui, Hei Hei, and Moana riding the sailboat together, so it's only normal that fans were mega confused about Pua being left behind. Don't worry though, your confusion will slowly start to fade as we get closer to the end of this video. So let's jump right into it, shall we? They're kind of cute. Moana needed to do things alone. Most of us can agree that making our parents proud is of big importance. So why would anything be different for the courageous Moana? Despite wanting to take her rightful place as the head of the ancient Polynesian tribe, Moana felt as though she was going against her calling. Since bending over backwards to please other people can never make someone feel accomplished, unfortunately for Pua, this meant leaving him behind. The truth is that Pua isn't just a pig, he's a symbol. Moana's sidekick is a land animal who needs to be grounded. However, Moana feels the ocean in her bones and wants to travel. In a way, Pua and Moana's parents have a lot in common, which could be why she chooses to leave him behind. In the end, Moana doesn't want anyone holding her back or trying to change her mind while out at sea. Since Moana's quest will determine the fate of her people, she can't allow herself to have any distractions whatsoever. And let's face it, a cute little pig is definitely a distraction. Pua didn't fare well the first time around. Leaving your animal behind is not an easy thing to do, which is why many of us choose to let them tag along. When it comes to Pua though, Moana had to make a tough call. Sure, she might have chosen to go solo, but it's not like she didn't try to bring him along the first time around. After convincing herself that there were more fish beyond the reef, Moana and Pua boarded a sailboat and set out to sea. Within a few minutes, though, Moana realized that she'd made a huge mistake. The waves beyond the reef were so huge and powerful that they immediately knocked Pua from his seat. This caused Moana to panic and turn her back on a wave. After nearly drowning and wrecking her sailboat, Moana must have realized that the journey was far too dangerous for a ground animal. Knowing this, it makes complete sense that Moana would want to leave her best friend on the shore. After all, the last thing the princess is, is selfish. <laughs> Boat snack! <laughs> Moana took her father's experience to heart. When Moana first crossed the reef, she was confident that she'd be able to sail the ocean without encountering any issues. Well, surprise, surprise! With her island still in view, Moana and Pua suffered a near-death experience that resulted in them washing back to shore. It didn't take long for Moana's father to freak out over her fascination with the ocean, causing Moana to feel babied and misunderstood. At this point, Moana was approached by her mother, who chose to tell Moana the truth behind her father's fears. Moana was then informed that her father had tried to cross the reef when he was about her age, and that his experience resulted in him losing his best friend for good. Knowing this, how could Moana ever consider bringing Pua along with her again? As a matter of fact, if she had let him aboard, this would have been seen as negligence. Moana was too afraid to bring him along. It took Moana's parents a little while to accept the fact that their daughter needed to leave their island. But accomplishing her quest became a necessity once the island's food supply began to run dry. While most of us believe that Moana didn't bring Pua with her in order to protect him from the ocean, some believe that she was more concerned with protecting him from herself. After all, Moana had never even learned how to fish, so going hungry while out at sea was definitely a big concern since the last thing Moana wanted was to start seeing Pua as a piece of meat. This is especially true considering the fact that Maui soon joined the party and was constantly throwing hints at eating Hei Hei. On another note, Moana is a kid's move, so eating her sidekick is not something that's bound to happen. After all, cartoon characters don't really need to focus on eating three balanced meals a day. Maui and Pua are one in the same. 
So this fan theory is a little more absurd than others. Can't deny that it makes a little sense. Some people believe that Maui and Pua are actually the same person. But before you go against this speculation, allow us to explain. Maui and Pua are never seen in the same shot throughout the movie, which raises some suspicion due to the fact that Maui can shapeshift into animals. This has caused fans to wonder if Maui has been Pua all along. Was he choosing to hide out on Moana's island to escape to Fiti's wrath? Or is this just wishful thinking? While the theory is a little far-fetched, we can't deny that it's a possibility. Does this premise make any sense to you? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. Moana had no way of knowing what she was in for. All in all, Moana is one of the least shady people pertaining to her movie. Whereas characters like Maui will harm others to get what they want. With this in mind, Moana must have considered the well-being and happiness of her faithful sidekick Pua. The truth of the matter is that Moana had no way of knowing how long her journey would take. It easily could have taken a week or a year. All Moana knew was that she was risking her life for the sake of her people. So why would she allow Pua to risk his own life when he didn't really know what was going on? While it's true that Hei Hei tagged along and managed to survive, this was a streak of good fortune. In the end, some might say that Hei Hei is the luckiest chicken to have ever lived. Do you think Pua would have fared well aboard Moana's ship? Or do you think she made the right decision by leaving him behind? Let us know your views in the comments. And that's a wrap! Thanks for watching our video and see you next time on The Things.